Um, I've always enjoyed drawing. I've always enjoyed vandalism. Um, I think I think street art was just just a combination of those two things. Uh, my name's Damien Mitchell, and I'm a street artist of about 12 years practicing experience. Melbourne's a real wealth of street talent. Melbourne's got some of the best artists living here and practicing here. Um, I think the city's decision to open up a lot of these laneways to painters to come and paint in their own time without you know, fear of being locked up gives the chance for people to kind of take their ideas further and do bigger and larger scale things. Um, Melbourne's become one of the meccas for street art and people are now, international artists, are travelling here to paint. I mean, Mel Melbourne's a great example of a city where the perception of street art is changing a lot. What was once kind of a bit of a bit of an outsider movement is now being embraced by the city and more businesses are wanting it in their shops and in their galleries. Um, and I think a lot of the artists who were who were painting for a long time are now trying to breed a new generation of, of kids who are coming up painting the right way, you know, painting painting hard and painting all the time. You don't make a great deal of money, it's probably about the equivalent of living on the doll, but you get to do what you want to do, you get to paint, you get to kind of leave your mark on the city. I, th I think when it's on the street, it's street art, when it's on the gallery, it's a different thing altogether. Street gives a different context, it, you, you, you can work with the architecture of the city, you can work with a lot of different things, which I suppose you can in the gallery too, but street art, I don't know, has more of a more of a personal feel to it. I think if you find a piece of street art, it feels a bit more like you've gone out of your way to find it as opposed to going to the art shop where art is sold and you go see it and you're, you know, very polite. And I think there's nothing better than, than hearing, you know, someone walk past your work and give an honest critique of it, whether they hate it or they love it, at least they kind of it, it, it got some kind of rise out of them. I think a lot of street artists also get a lot of get get a thrill out of running around at night time and doing walls you're not really supposed to be doing, you know? Everyone kind of having their Facebook profile as being a, a wall somewhere, um, I, th I think it's a good thing that it's, you know, a wider audience, more people can enjoy what, what, what artists paint. Um, of course, it, it leaves itself open to, you know, maybe the wrong people coming in, say like, advertisers who want to cash in on this whole thing and make make their buck out of it. But I mean, I think those who do it, do it because they love it and will do it long after this bubble's popped. I don't do a lot of gallery art and I think the art I create is just kind of the art I, I, I like to see. Some of it's funny, some of it's sentimental, some of it has a political message. Um, some of it I think just is aesthetically pleasing and I like how that looks on a wall. Um, but no, no, I wouldn't say that by a rule I try to do funny work. Um, it's kind of just how you feel at the moment. All right, so this piece just here, um, it's a portrait of my old dog, František. And he was a dog I had when I was living in the Czech Republic, in Prague. And he was my best friend, we travelled everywhere together, we painted together. Um, and I just kept doing his image and... Prague's a big dog town, everyone has their dog. So I think you start to get known for your dog. Um, and yeah, so he, he died last year when I moved to Australia. So to kind of pass on his, his legacy, I like to paint him. He's still with me wherever I go, you know, he's, he's, he's still my best painting buddy. I think what's, what's the best thing about street art, perhaps, is, is the innovation artists use. Um, taking, you know, parts of your world and seeing it in a different way and kind of making that into art I think is one of the best things street art has brought, brought to the art world. Um, so it would be style or even making your own tools, you know, like making your own markers or whatever. I think that's the, um, that's the best thing street art has brought is that it, it, it's pushing new, new ways of thinking about existing you know, concepts. The best thing about painting and traveling is you get to meet artists you respect and work with them and create works of art which probably wouldn't have been there before. And, I don't know, you, it's a family, you make friends, you always got a place to stay if you, you know, have a can in your hand. What's the downside of being straight up? I suppose getting arrested and getting locked up and, you know, having people chase you down the alleyway when, when, when you're trying to do something nice. Um, but I mean, that's, that's also the exciting part, take the good the bad.
the bad boys glitter, the masters just prettier, but all you need is me.